in the earlier part 1 video I have told till theta 1 ds students that is theta equal to 0 and variable L equal to cos theta and m equal to sin theta. So, for a value theta equal to 0 the cos theta is 1 and sin theta is 0. Now, how to work out the theta value for the element 2. Now, let us take into consideration the element 2. The element 2 is from here. It is given in the problem that is of 45 degree inclination, but this is not uh, the 45 degree inclination. The value theta is nothing but what the measure from the node 2 from plus x axis need to be taken into consideration. So, this is nothing but the x axis getting we are talking about the element 2 this is our element 2 from node 2 to 3 from node 2 to 3 is nothing but our element 2 this is given 45 degree, but plus x axis need to be added to this. So, that means we hit the angle is here exactly getting. So, if this is 45 this will be what 180 minus 45 180 minus 45 will give us how much dear students 135 degree. So, cos theta is L. So, substitute the value in the calculator 135 degree. So, that you will be getting negative 0.707 and positive 0.007. About L and M we have discussed in stiffness matrix. If you have not watched that please go and watch even the finite element uh, I mean stiffness matrix for a truss that is very important derivation. Now, not is the next point is to find the nodal displacement. Please dear students watch the part A video of this uh, numerical problem as the problem is too lengthy I am posting in form of uh, the parts wise. So, this is given in the problem is not it elemental stiffness matrix for a truss is given by we all even know that this is a formula uh, for the elemental stiffness matrix for a truss. I will let you know once again L square L m L m m square this complete will be here exact to the diagonal positive and the same thing will be the negative values here and the same exact diagonal will be here with all the negative values I have uploaded a clear video on uh, the stiffness matrix for a truss element. Please do watch that. Now, to find the elemental stiffness matrix for element 1. For element 1 what are the values we require L and M. So, for element 1 L and M values are what dear students L equal to 1 and M equal to 0 and uh, for element 2 this is L and M these values I am going to substitute in the global elemental stiffness matrix for element 1. So, this is for node 1 and 2 that is given how much this value is given as 10,000 I have written here in the place of L substitute 1 in the place of M substitute 0 and work out this accordingly you will be getting like this. Now, we are supposed to write for a node 1 and 2 the displacements are what u 1 v 1 and the displacement is u 2 v 2. So, along the row along the column write down u 1 v 1 u 2 v 2 u 1 v 1 u 2 v 2 these are the positions of the stiffness matrix for the element 1. Now, alage element stiffness matrix for element 2 ki kuda manam gannu koal manak l value m value in the one table nun chochin. So, substitute those values in place of l square m square you will be getting this things dear students and 10,000 kilo Newton is nothing but what this is what a 2 e 2 by l 2 this is substituted but the node is how much 2 and 3 for a 2 and 3 node we have what the stiffness is u 2 v 2 and u 3 v 3 sorry displacements. So, after putting L and M value as the negative 0.707 and positive value you are going to get in form of 0.49 something rounded off to 0.5 on the top of these rows and columns you are supposed to write u 2 v 2 u 3 v 3 getting even in the row as well as column to work out the global stiffness matrix what numbering royally so, now we are supposed to work out the assembling the above elemental stiffness matrix in suitable way and the global finite element equation can be prepared. So, global stiffness matrix and tento with the also manam bar element lo chesam same adhe vidanga ikkada uda element 1 ki element 2 ki global stiffness matrix manam rayali and te injayali pudi ikkada 10,000 is common from both is not it dear students. So, how many nodes we have here as it is of uh, 6 nodes. So, the matrix size will be depending on the number of nodes as I told while working the bar problem any nodes untayo I mean uh, nodes ke any displacements untayo anni manaku uh, matrix size out on the cavity it is over 6 by 6 matrix u1 v1 u2 v2 u3 v3 are the displacements and u1 v1 till u v3 are the displacements now if you do connectivity chayal man we put in rastam u1 v1 u2 v2 and u1 v1 u2 v2 place low e value substitute chayal ikkada varki these all are the values is not it u2 work hope you know how to work out the stiffness matrix 
अलागे नैक्स्ट यू टू वी टू यू थ्री वी थ्री मन के इकडनी सो यू टू यू टू पोजिशन जीरो पाइं फाइव राय मल्ल यू टू यू टू पोजिशन सो इंत वन उ तरह दिन प्लेस जीरो पाइं वन एक् दिश फ्रम दि फस्ट एलमेंट फस्ट एलमेंट एला अला मन यू वन वी टू यू वन वी टू वरक रास्ता As it is, ठीक second element को चुना पड़े add ये स्थान second element लो आ respective nodes तो u2 u2 वो u2 u2 zero point five again u2 v2 गुड़न्दी u2 v2 उन्दी u2 v3 उन्दी u2 v3 गुड़ा उन्दी कबाटी वन्नी मानो में कड़ा add छे आले so that thing I have done for this row dear students similarly v2 u3 and v3 गुड़ा लागे छे आले इन clear का मेक बार problem जैसे टपुर चे पैनो प्रति सारी इधी चे पालन्दी it is taking lot of time in form of making the video please try to understand I'll make you one proof here v3 u v3 v3 v2 value enta chuddam v3 v2 v3 ekkada undi ikkada v3 and v2 ekkada undi ikkada so v3 v2 value is how much negative 0.5 so v3 v2 value is how much negative atla manam assemble cheyali ani ardam okay so later you join this add them and write the step again as it is i have written the same step but after adding these two to be added here ivi nalugu add avutayi kabatti aa values ikkada rasam manam okay so this is nothing but the global stiffness matrix is also asked sometimes in the problem so nodal displacements gan ko mannar banani problem lo alage nodal forces kuda gan ko mannaru alage f to y icharu manaku downward force direction isn't it this is f to y here so f to y is given how much 1 kilo newton in the problem which is acting downward that the reason it is taken as negative dear students and the nodal forces are supposed to be calculated even the reaction forces now as we know the next thing is to work out the global finite element matrix equation is given as kq equals to f ante kada k is nothing but what the global stiffness matrix mana back side rasna vada anta rayali kada q is nothing but what global displacement vectors u1 v1 u2 v2 u3 v3 and f is nothing but what dear students the load vectors ओके ना द नोडल कंडीशन अंद बउंड्री कंडीशन से प्रॉब्लम लगे चूस नोड वन इज़ फिस् नोड थ्री इज़ फिस् ऐस नोड वन अंड नोड थ्री आर् फिस्ट टू द वा हियर सो यू वन बी वन यू टू यू थ्री वी थ्री विल बी जीरो डिर् स्टूडेंट अंत कदा जीरो अलग एफ टू फोर्स एम ले डैरक्षन अभी जीरो एफ टू वै इच्छा का बट्टी दट विल बी दैगेटिव बिकाज इट इज़ ऐक्टिंग डाउन वर्ड अंड एफ वन वै वन एफ वन वै वन अंड फस्ट नोड अंड द थर्ड नोड द फोर्स आर् द रियान फोर्स ऐस इट इज़ फिस् वी नीड टू क्युलेट दट फोर्स सो दे आर् नथिंग बट वाट दे आर् सपोर्ट रियाक्षन सो वी नीड टू क्युलेटेड ना अल्लाइंग दीज आल पाइंट्स टू दिस् अबो दिस्टिफ्ट मैट्रिक दींट मन सब्स्यूटे एम इन यु वन वी वन अंड यू थ्री वी थ्री जीरो अं एफ टू वाई ईक्वल टू जीरो मल्ल सेम ऐस इट अलगे रे बट वालू सब्स्यूट सब्स्यूटे ऐस पर् दिनेशन मेथड वी आर् वर्किंग अवट वाट Excuse me, dear students. As per the elimination approach method, we know that as node one and node three are fixed, the concerned rows and the columns of node one and node three need to be eliminated. A may mean I. It is said the U one point is first row, first column. Second row and the second column will be eliminated. U one V one are at node one. The displacements are at node one are what? U one V one. The displacements at node three are what? U three V three. Are concerned rows and columns? Ni maram eliminate. Alagi U three oka row and U three oka columns guda maram eliminate cheste. Akar ka migle endi. This is what which I have highlighted for you. As per the elimination approach method, we are supposed to delete the concerned rows and columns. And we maram eliminate che alad maram bar problems lo guda chesa. Mere bar problem प्रॉब्लम्स प्राक्टिस फस्ट मेरे बार्स ने तरवा ट्रस्ट पैन फोकस नव वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई टू वर्क दिस् टेन थौज इंटू वन पाइंट फाइव इंटू यू टू मैनस् जीरो पाइंट फाइव इंटू वी टू ईक्वल टू जीरो दट इज ईक्वे अलावे वेन थौज इंटू नव जीरो पाइंट फाइव यू टू पाजिट जीरो पाइंट फाइव इंटू वी टू ईक्वल टू नैगटिव थौज सो दट इज़ आलो हेव रिटर्न इयर इन फॉर्म आफ मैट्रिक्स मल्टिप्लीकेशन नौ अपॉन ऐडिंग डिर् स्टूडेंट्स क्यालुलेट यू टू विल बिकम वाट नव जीरो पाइंट वन मिलीमीटर आू टू दीक रेसन ए सब्स्यूटे यूनि क्यालुलेट ओके फि वन पाइंट फाइव यू टू जीरो पाइंट फाइव यू टू वी थ्री वी टू एम आई नैगटिव जीरो पाइंट थ्री मिलीमीटर आई पैं दिस इज हाउ यू आर सपोज टू वर्क अवट फ्रम द मैट्रिक्स मल्टिप्लीकेशन आफ्टर द एलमेशन मेथड ओके तरवा रियान फोर्स रियान फोर्स एक् अट नोड वन अंड अट नोड थ्री दट मीन एफ वन एक्स अंड एफ टू एफ वन वै एफ 
uh, 3x and F3y call man. So, from the finite element equation, we can write the reaction forces as F1 x dal mali E equation kel man. Then ki this one, the first matrix, global difference matrix, F1 x and t in 1 into 0, negative into 0, ni 0 se unai kada. Ka, but you so, what it will become dear students here? So, negative u 2 is there here minus 1 into u 2 equals to f 1 x and this 10,000 is also there here this 10. So, that is the reason why f 1 x equals to f 1 x equals to what? Negative u 2 into 10,000 that is what here it is written we know u 2 value from here that is 0 0.1 substitute. So, f 1 x equal to what? 10,000 Newton f 1 y will equals to what? 0 f 1 y man juice not like the second row of f 1 y on the gavata a element ki positive le, negative and zeros in gavati that becomes what? 0 by default. Next f 3 x into f 3 x is here. So, along this row and column you multiply the matrix multiplication if you take into consideration 0 into 0 0 0 into 0 0 negative 0 0.5 into u 2 that is negative 0 0.5 u 2 plus positive 0 0.5 into positive 0 0.5. Meetha position lay on the 0 0 on the other 10,000 on the other 10,000 over the multiplier. Upon calculation, you will be getting negative 1000 Newton dear student. Allag F3 would calculate change F3 allow us in the E can just F3 y F3 y and 10 0 this is 0 if you multiply you will be getting only these two values 0 0.5 into u 2 minus 0 0.5 into v 2 into 10,000 equals to F3 y. So, substituting u 2 v 2 values which you know from the above. So, you will be getting F3 y. We well, are working out like this that is the video is too lengthy people are unable to concentrate please try to work out on the piece of paper. So, that you will be able to understand dear students. Now, if forces man calculate chase in the correct agad and change all and equilibrium condition we check jay all and all the forces along x you add and all the forces along the y you add dear student that should become 0. 0 which not like the man calculate chase in the correct ani add them. Man f1 x and to chin thousand f3 x and to negative which in alag me thai would have chai gavata one nikada sum of summation of all the forces along x and y add chase check chase score. No. From this we have found what from the question they asked to work out the nodal displacements u1 v1 is 0 because it is fixed u3 v3 equal to 0 that is also fixed. We have calculated u2 v2 calculate jason ga but we don't do negative lo ochne. Alagi nodal forces would calculate jason ga but a values manam need ga solution rupam lo ila end of the answer lo ra in dear students and do not forget to write the newton and do not forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't as well as share this content with your friends and do work out each and every problem in step by step sequence like how I am explaining you to concentrate and use different types of pens and pencils in the exam and highlight the answers in the boxes so that this will be helping you all. Hope you are going to subscribe to my channel as well as like this content and share and if you are looking for any other course do not forget to comment. Hope you will be doing well in the exam and working out all these derivations and the problems and doing well. Good luck and God luck you. Good luck and uh, good luck students.